These button hover effects will absolutely blow your mind. Number 1. Wave animation. This is how the animation looks like. To create this, we're gonna create a simple button and there's going to be two elements inside that are going to be animated. Let's create a button. It is going to be positioned relatively. Padding on the left and right, 6. And padding on the top and bottom is going to be 3. Font semi-bold. Text is going to be blue 500. You're gonna have a border of 2 pixels. And the border is going to be blue. We need to hide the overflow because we're gonna have two animated elements inside. We're gonna use the group class to create a simultaneous hover effect gonna have rounded corners and cursor is going to be pointer when you hover over this button indicating that this is a clickable element inside we're gonna have three span elements two of them are going to be for the animation and one is going to have this text hover me it is going to be positioned relatively we're gonna set the z index to 10 to make sure it stays on top of the other elements when you group hover gonna turn the text to white let's use transition color and set the duration to 800. On top of this text, we're gonna have two span elements that are both going to be positioned absolute. We're gonna set the inset to zero, which will set top, bottom, left and right to zero. Width and height is going to be full. The background is going to be blue 500. We're gonna use transform scale. So the way this is going to work is one element is gonna scale from left to right and the other one is gonna come from right to left. So this first one is going to have a scale on the x-axis which is going to be zero and since this one is gonna come from left to right you're gonna set its origin to left it's gonna have some rounded corners. The top right is going to be full and the bottom right is going to be full. And when you group hover, you're gonna set the scale on the x-axis to 100, which means this element is going to get bigger on the horizontal axis and it is going to fill the background of the button from left to right. Let's use some transition, transform. Let's set the duration to 800. Transition is going to be ease in and out. And we're gonna set the z-index to zero to make sure these elements are behind the text and since this is going to be the opposite we can set the origin to right so instead of coming from left to right this is going to come from right to left we can delete the bottom right roundness and turn this rounded top left full let's see how it looks and there you go